Well, hey there, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Lutherville. So for this episode, we're doing something a little different. For this episode, we are doing a review of the Sennheiser MKE 440 shotgun microphone. So for this video, I am going to always be using that mic whenever you see me on camera. Therefore, <laughs> all the audio that you're hearing right now is coming off of the Sennheiser mic. So, this microphone is designed in Germany. So, this microphone in particular, I actually won in a contest. I purchased another Sennheiser microphone and they had this giveaway to get the MKE 440 and I actually uh, won the contest so that was kind of cool. So right now the way that you're seeing me I'm standing approximately I would say eight feet away from the camera and the microphone. The settings on this microphone are very simplistic. They're just an on-off switch, a low-pass filter, or a low-cut filter rather, and there's an amplification for the decibels. So it is now at plus 20. I do plan to make sure I get my audio levels sounding good in the editing software, but once I get the level set, I'm not going to change them, so I'm not going to make it fluctuate at all. Um, that's really, that's really about it. That's all I really have to say for an intro. So now let's go over some uh, technical specifications, and we'll also do some distance tests. Well, speaking of technical details, the first thing that I should go over is the proper pronunciation of Sennheiser. Many people pronounce it. Sennheiser or Sennheiser, but both of those are wrong. The proper German pronunciation is Sennheiser, and I can prove this by showing you a clip from the Sennheiser website featuring a German spokesperson. Herzlich willkommen zur DD Ready Filmreihe von Sennheiser. Hier erfahren Sie alles Wichtige zur gesetzlichen Neuordnung der Funkfrequenzen in Deutschland. Here we have technical details, including a few close-ups of the mic. So right here you can see the mic when it has the wind muff thing <laughs> on it, uh, the dead cats as they're commonly called, and that obviously really covers up the mic, so you don't really get to see what they look like, but you can still tell that the MKE 440 is divided sort of into two microphones, the two shotgun mics. And here we can get a close-up and see the hot shoe attachment, which is really one of the only things on this microphone that is plastic. Uh, pretty much everything on the mic is metal, including uh, even the battery compartment door right here that pops open. Uh, even that is made out of metal. So the mic is really solid, really well built. It definitely feels like the type of thing that if you drop it, uh, it's, it's not going to break. You know, it's still going to endure for quite some time. And here we can take off the wind muffs, and then you get a much better idea of what the mic looks like. And right there printed on the side is the Sennheiser logo and the made in Germany plus the model number of the MKE 440. We can also see that the attachment for the audio cord and the audio cable in the front of the microphone uh, is not detachable, which is really one of the only negative things about this mic that I can think of. It would be nice if that could come off and be replaced, but unfortunately it's permanently attached. And it is just a standard 3.5 millimeter 
stereo input jack, so it will plug into pretty much any uh, DSLR microphone input. Also wanted to show you the inside of the microphone, and obviously I didn't want to take my microphone apart, so I got this photo uh, off of the Zenheiser website, and it's an excellent illustration of exactly what the innards of the MKE 440 look like. You can see inside are two shock-mounted shotgun microphones. And this is such a brilliant design. It's something that I kind of came up with in my head a long time ago. I always thought, you know, they should make a microphone like this. Like, I'm not an engineer, I'm not an audio expert, but, you know, based on the little knowledge I have, I always thought that this kind of configuration would be absolutely fantastic for doing interviews and things like that. And uh, turns out that my guess was correct. And uh, yeah, this kind of configuration really does make for a great mic for doing this type of work. Then right here of our three switches, first is the power, next is the decibel level, and finally is the low cut filter. And that pretty much covers uh, the sort of physical look of the MKE 440 microphone. As you can see it's a very small form factor so it does fit nicely on just about any camera and um, yeah now let's move on to some different tests in indoor and outdoor environments so you can get a good idea of what it actually sounds like. All right so this is an indoor microphone test for the Zennheiser uh, 400, what is it? I don't remember the, I don't remember the number. It's the MKE 440. So um, I don't have a whole lot of options when it comes to indoor shoots. So this is what I gotta do. So I'm sitting approximately eight and a half feet away from the camera. I think it's about 103 inches is what I measured. And I'm using a 50 millimeter lens and this is of course uh, not a full frame camera so we have the crop factor that makes it a little bit closer than 50 millimeters but just to give you an idea of how far away i am from the camera now i also have a fridge uh, and freezer uh, within this room so you might hear that as some ambient noise in the background in fact uh, let me just be quiet for a moment and we'll see if that shows up. So of course as I was recording this I have no idea if it showed up or not. Uh, if it didn't, that's great. And that's really about it. That's about all I kind of wanted to cover with this to get an idea of how this mic sounds uh, when it's this distance away and it's in an enclosed indoor sort of area. Now many microphone tests are usually done with just one person and I didn't want to do it that way. So brought along brought in the ringer Katie. <laughs> if you've seen uh, any of the other videos that I've done you may remember that was about two years ago. It was a while ago yeah. yeah. Hey guys. So this is just so we can have two people. Two different vocal ranges. Yeah if you will. Yeah. Or maybe we have the same vocal range. That'd be unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know who that's unfortunate for. No, I mean just for the test itself. Oh. No, I thought for one of us it's unfortunate. Because Possible. that means either you have a manly voice or I have a girly voice. I, yeah. I, I think I have more of a girly voice, though. I always say that I'm, I'm, I'm a John Wayne soul trapped in a John Cryer <laughs> body. Nice. Yes. It's true. And I, I actually posted that on Twitter once. Any likes? And John Cryer posted a like on it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. So that was kind of funny. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> He's got a sense of humor about himself. It's good. Yeah. Well, you know, you kind of have to, right? Yeah, yeah. So. You definitely have to. But uh, so tell me your life story so we can get oh, some talking. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Well, I was... Uh, Born a poor black child. I'm just <laughs> we probably can't use that. No, really, 
No, I don't we'll, know. We'll use it. It's a Steve Martin reference. Right? And, and I know. If there's any politically correct morons out there who don't get that, that's their problem. <laughs> so. Um, and now I, uh, I don't know. What am I doing? Living the dream. Doing 80 jobs. That's, you know, what we do in LA. Take yoga a lot. <laughs> she, she, that's what we do she takes yoga and works I take yoga and I work yeah. yeah that's about it yeah so all right I hope that uh this was a good enough test for you to see how the mic sounds and how it picks up having two people indoors and now we'll show you some other stuff yeah this test uh, we're starting out about eight feet away from the camera with a 50 millimeter lens so how's it going Eric good great how are you? I'm great. Wonderful. Enjoying this beautiful day in the desert. So I think we've been doing a lot of uh, storytelling True. as a way to get some dialogue recorded. And uh, we probably shouldn't do storytelling like we were just talking about in the truck. Yeah, <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. Yeah. A lot of family issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, yeah, they're not the kind of things that uh, we want to share with no. the whole planet. A little bit Debbie Downer. It's okay. <laughs> so let's see. I once asked you um, about a certain grade. Give me uh, maybe seventh. Seventh grade. Yeah. What's a good seventh grade Ooh, story? Seventh grade. Oh, wait. The one I just thought of is not appropriate. For okay. The <laughs> <laughs> seventh. Oh, great seventh grade story. Okay. <laughs> So I What was, were you doing that was so bad? Oh, it wasn't it grade. wasn't about me, it was oh. about someone else. It's just not appropriate for <laughs> okay. other people to hear either. Sure. So it wasn't appropriate for me to hear at seventh grade. Uh -huh. Anyway. Um so I was in a performance, we were doing a re re review, and um I was supposed to sing tomorrow mm -hmm. from the musical Annie. Right. I decided I that was lame. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> okay. So the day of I was like, I'm gonna sing something else. Give me something else. So my teacher was like, are you sure? Okay. So she gave me a new song and I was like, I got this. And then got up there to sing that night and sang the first line and then blanked completely <laughs> in front of like 200 people and sort of like, and the piano sounded like, duh, 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 duh. And that was it. And so I was like, ah, and I stayed on stage and danced around a little bit, came in with the last line bowed, ran off stage, cried forever. <laughs> that's why I didn't sing for a good, like, 15 years. Wow, that's almost like the Will Ferrell thing. The Will Ferrell thing. From um, uh, Step Brother. It's kind of like With that. The, yeah. It is kind of like that. I was scarred for life, and yeah. now I'm back in action. Exactly. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to keep on walking. And so I got my trusty GPS, which is inaccurate. Now it says we're eight feet away. See? Oh. See, now it works. Interesting. Okay, so using the GPS, we're going to figure out how far away we're getting from the camera. And then we'll see how, how well... much you can hear us. Yeah, see how well it picks up now. We're about... Don't step on any lizards. Yeah. Okay, so now we're about 15 feet, and I don't even know if we're in frame. Let's <laughs> come over here. Hi. Well, now it says 21 feet, but that's probably... That seems about right. Yeah, that's probably about 21 feet. Okay. Okay, so... 21. We're actually not going to do um, a lot of these. I'll, maybe I'll do one more. But since these are shotgun mics, they're obviously not intended to be used from this far away. Right. Um, you can use they're wireless mics. <laughs> Completely. You can use wireless mics much further, but this is, you know, nobody's really going to tend to, to use it this way. But for testing purposes, I thought people might find that interesting to see just how far away can you get, especially in an outdoor environment that's really, really quiet, will it still pick up? So. Should we try a little farther or no? Yeah. Okay. All right, one more time. Let me go behind the bush. All right. <laughs> okay. So now, this is saying about 45 feet away. 45. Yeah. I'm not raising my voice at all. Let's see <laughs> if it picks up. And I get the feeling that uh, it's probably not going to pick up Me neither. very well at all. Just, no. Now it's moving. <laughs> <laughs> but it might. So, all right, so now yeah. let's walk back. And now since we're actually facing the camera, I can speak the That's entire time walking. through the entire walk. Smart. I like it. And then we'll see at what point 
Is it can too you loud? start to hear us? And at what point did it start to fade away? So again, hopefully that gives you a good idea of the kind of distances that this microphone can be used for. Again, it's not really intended to be used that far away, but now you see what it does. Gives you a good idea on whether you can tell secrets really far away if they will be heard. Yeah, because you know, on set, that's the kind of stuff that people do. Be careful. Do. Yeah. All right. This footage that you're watching right now, there is a slight breeze that's kind of coming and going. It's maybe gusting up to about 15 miles per hour. And this mic does currently have uh, the Dead Cat windsock on it. So hopefully you don't really hear the wind noise. Hopefully the thing is, is doing its job and uh, you can't hear a lot of background noise. You're just hearing my voice. So I thought this would be a good, a good day to do that kind of testing because it's not crazy gusting wind, but it's also not uh, completely still. There is a little bit of a breeze. So that's it. <laughs> now you've gone over the technical things, seen the distance tests, and I hope this will help you to perhaps make uh, an informed decision about whether or not you would like to go with a microphone like this. And remember folks, as always, if your ambitions do not scare you, they're not big enough. <laughs>